Hello and welcome to a look at my top five favorite modded maps. Of course all the other maps are brilliant in their own rights but these are the ones that I enjoyed the most. Do enjoy and let me know which ones you love in the comments and enjoy it. Well, to start off with, I'm going to call this my left field selection. It's not in the top five simply because it hasn't really been out very long in its updated form. And that's the version that I really, really like. And that is Mission to Mars by Farmer Bob and Superfly. Fantastic. Fantastic modding, just completely different. Modding, at least farming on Mars, sending goods back to the UK, a wonderful train system, a progress board, a basic mission, so a mission to get to get you going and to and to follow so that's fantastic we don't often see that so this is my left field selection loved the map loved playing it hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think about this one this is another map that just feel, falls falls not feels falls outside my top five it is the pioneers map and this is my soft spot map. This is a map that I did my very first series on. So that I have a very, very, it has a very, very special place in my heart. I loved playing this map. It was harsh land. It was difficult to work. It was difficult to travel on. It was absolutely fantastic. Just as wild lands should be loved loved playing this map and this is my soft spot map now coming in at number five this is no man's land fantastic map of course it came over from fs19 as well and it was competing directly against the likes of the western wilds and the Pioneers map, which I had on my soft map. So those maps that um, you go out and basically build it yourself. But I love this one. It was just edged out Western Wilds. And the reason why it edged out Western Wilds for me is because of the undulations. Um, the sort of up and downs, the hills. Whereas Western Wilds was just flat, which was nice for some things. So yes, coming at number five, No Man's Land. Loved playing it. Loved Western Wilds and Pioneer Map as well, of course. And there was another one. Name escapes me right now. But yeah, fantastic map. My number five, No Man's Land. And coming in at number four, Calmston Farm. Love this map. Very, very UK styled map. Loved playing it. Had lots to do. And started with some nice machinery. Nice farming area. Fairly nice fields. Well, when I say fairly nice, very nice fields, very nice sized fields. Just different things going on. Really, really enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of Calmston Farm in the, in the comments. So coming in at number four, Calmston Farm. And coming in at number three is Bellum Road. The modeling of Tom Pemberton's farm. Fantastic. 
job done by the map makers in this case of creating a, a really good likeness for the farm. I did do a series on this, which I loved. And it is one of those maps that made me... Well, it came the closest to make me feel like real farming that that I know. Some really basic equipment. The sheds were beautiful. Everything was very, very well made. And it just looked and felt very, very similar to the real farm. Well, the real farm as I've seen it on the on Tom Pemberton's um, studio, at least uh, YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> Couldn't remember what it was called. This is all that, all now as it's been redone. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So this is Bellum Road coming in at number three. And coming in at number two is the valley, the old farm. A European styled map. This is the starting farm. And I did a series on this where I didn't actually start on the starting farm. I don't seem to start on the starting farm very much when I do my series. But I did my urban farm on this map, which was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The map is fantastic. The detailing, absolutely perfect. I think it, the end goal was for us to actually buy this farm. And I think we did manage to buy this farm. It was absolutely brilliant. We didn't actually work anything on the farm. But we established our urban farm in the center of the town. And as I said, we eventually did well enough to be able to, to buy the original farm back. So coming in at number two, the fantastic, the valley, the old farm. And coming in at number one, it is the fantastic Alma, Missouri. It's, I think it's the only American map on, in my top five. But it's at number one. I loved playing this, this map. I also did a series on this map. And we, we built a pretty big farm actually. In fact, we built a very big farm. It was absolutely fantastic. This is the updated version. So slightly different to the version that, uh, that I played on. This barn is different and the chickens weren't there. But yes, absolutely brilliant, brilliant map. As far as American maps go, just out of this world it is no there's no there's no place on this map that just looks like a flat or oh, two-dimensional map the undulations that are create were created by the map makers made this map feel huge absolutely huge top top class and would certainly be in and certainly deserves its position at number one in my maps of my oh, of my favorite maps Let's jump over here and have a look there we go my favorite map of fs22 alma missouri well i do hope you've enjoyed that um, if you have please like and subscribe and just before I finish this off, I do want to thank all those modders who take 
the time and the energy to make these fantastic modded maps for us to enjoy, for us to do content on, for everybody just to play on. And yeah, it just makes all the difference. Thank you so much. It is much appreciated. Well, that's it for this, my favorite, for this video of my favorite modded maps. Do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.